Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, the Alphalus Fernandez. I'm so glad you took the time to hear forth the Word of God. In your spare time, my friend, glory to God, post this video on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram, and to get people to, to get out of bondage because God has called us to be free. If you need prayer, glory to God, just, 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 just email me and, and let the man of God pray for you. Hey, glory to God. Galatians chapter 5. Verse 1 says, Stand fast in the liberty where Christ has made us free, and be entangled again with the yoke of bondage. How to be free from bondage or slavery? Well, I say, how to be free from bondage or slavery? Bondage is a person that committing sin, and you, you want to stop, but you can't stop it. Hey, glory to God. Now, we are born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But I'm talking about people that are still in bondage. You're still in captivity. And God has made you, set you free. And go to God. So how to get out of bondage. And go to God. Number one. And go to This is 10 R's. How to be free from slavery. 10 R's. To be free from slavery. And on this, period, on this time, my friend, I'm, I'm asking you to listen carefully the word that I mentioned. I'm going to mention read. I'm going to mention remembered. I'm going to mention repent. Hey, glory to God. Return. Research. Respect. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Religion. Relationship. And also, glory to God, people repeat. And the last one is redemption. So, the reason why people stay into slavery and bondage because they don't read they don't read for themselves because they can't read and they're ignorant or mis misinformed of reality uh, people don't read you don't try to be leader leaders are readers and if you don't read you will never be informed of what's going on in your life you'll never get out of look at look at the day of slavery the people that are so much busy working, they have no time to read. So what happened? They stay in slavery because they're working themselves to death. And people are in slavery because they don't read the word of God. They don't read history. They don't read what happened in the past. And people that don't inform about past, they keep on repeating it. That's number one. So you don't read. Hallelujah. Number two, you don't remember, glory to God, where they came from. They don't know their history because they're folklore or mythology. Right? People don't know their history. Hey Amen. You don't remember the history is, is your story. Hey, glory to God. My friend, we are not Americans. We are Africans. Hey, glory to God. Americans are Indians. Hey, Amen. And if you think that you are American, you are mistaken. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number three. They don't repent of, of their sin. They don't repent. They continue on, on, on down a slope for hell and never recover, but keep on sinning. Hey, the, look what Paul said. Paul says, stand fast in the liberty. Liberty is independent. We, we serve independent day. We want to do firecracker. We want to do fireworks. But you don't know the real meaning of independent. Independent is free to serve the God that you know is true. Your idol is not a God. Your car is not a God. Your phone is not a God. That television you watch for 10 hours is not a God. And the person you worship, not even married to, is not your God. Amen. And, if, and, and the fourth thing, they have forgotten God by returning back to their old habits. It becomes habitual and it becomes a slavery. Paul says, stand fast, stand firm into the liberty where Christ has made you free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. People are the yoke of bondage around their neck. You are a slave. You ain't all this airing in your nose, in your in your lips, in your in your, in your nipples, in your in, in glory to God. Come on. You ain't all these jingles on your ear because you don't want to be free. A free people is a happy people. Why do you think I'm happy? I'm free. Hey, glory to God. I'm under no bondage by no activity, no bondage by Satan. I'm a free man. Hey, glory to God. 
man, people gotta people gotta be free. Don't, so don't return back into your old habits. Don't turn back into things that turn you into bondage all over again. A free people is a happy people. And people that are slavery, they're not free. Look at look look how they look. Hallelujah. And the fifth thing, we don't research who who do you believe. Amen. We we don't research. We accept everything that people put in front of us without researching. The church of Berea, they went home and they searched the scripture where the thing that Paul was saying was true. We don't search the Bible. We put the Bible down and we pick it up when we go to church. But we ought to search the scripture and you think you have eternal life for they that testify about me. Those two men that was going to Emmaus, they were sad looking pitiful. Because Jesus Christ resurrected. And Jesus Christ said, why, why are y'all so pitiful? And they started saying, this man called Jesus is supposed to be resurrected. And Jesus Christ called him a fool. He said, fool and slow of heart. Didn't you believe the scripture? He go to God. Amen. So we need to research rather than accepting everything that is set up in front of us. And we say, I believe it. No, I'm going to research it first before I believe it. And the sixth thing, we don't respect our parents. Amen. Amen. Now, now, let me say, we don't respect God, which is which is the honor. If we don't respect our God, we don't respect our parents. We don't respect our parents. They are they are auth they are authority authorizing. Amen. Authority. We talk back. We cuss at them. We don't speak to them. I have a daughter that doesn't speak to me at all. I told her that she should be shacking or, or come into fornication, not be married. Amen. Rather than, 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 than saying, you're right, Dad, she close up. She go on her shell and decide not to speak to me. Amen. But so I'm saying that if you don't respect God, you can't respect your parent because your parents are put in authority to speak for God. But the Bible says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandment. So if, if we love God, we respect God, by what? Hey, glory to God. If, if a man say he love you, he marry you. He not going to hump you and dump you. He, you ain't no trash. You are a treasure. Hey, man, you ain't no, you ain't a, you ain't a dumpster. You are a diamond. And if a man don't honor you, hey, man, by marrying you, hallelujah, he don't honor you at all. If a man don't know your parents, Hey Amen. You don't want the man to to know if this is the right choice you're making in life. So if a person don't honor God, they don't honor their parents. You can't honor your parents and don't honor God. Hey Amen. So a person don't honor God, they don't or respect God, they won't respect your they, they won't respect your authority. Because people are out, out there, glory to God, they honor the devil, they honor evil, when it comes to righteousness. The, the Bible said, Paul said, am I your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. To be an enemy of people, you got to speak on, you got to keep on speaking the truth. Amen. The Bible said your own enemy is of your household. People that see your household, glory to God. Paul, uh, Joshua said, for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. And if people don't want to serve God, and if they read the age of accountability, put them out. Amen. Number seven thing, we, we have our own religion our own belief, our own book, and we don't call it the Bible. We just worship sex, we worship self, we worship Satan. Amen. Now, the reason why I say worship sex now, if you're not married, you're worshiping sex. Amen. People call, people can't tell you anything. You get mad and don't speak to them. If you worship in God of the Bible, amen, you should not be worshiping Satan of this world because the devil is a god of this world and people that worship the devil they are slaves what i say people that worship the devil they are slaves amen because the devil wants you to slave for him the devil wants you to do evil for him the devil wants you to curse god and die like Job wife amen never think we don't have relationship but we have religion and deep down, we don't have religion because the Bible says if you have religion, hey, you know the bridle your tongue. That's number one. Number two, you keep yourself unspotted from the world. Number two. Number three, you, you visit the fatherless and, and the widows. That's number three. 
So you're not really religious. You 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 just you just a backslider. You just a heathen. You just a paganist. So you don't have you don't have your your own religion. Hey man, people. I, I mentioned before, my friend. People say they have their own religion. They don't have their own religion. They're just a pagan. They just a they just devilish. They're just demons. Hey man, and I'm a number. Ninth reason, eighth reason, we don't have a relationship. We are we are religious. We don't do ritual behind closed door, and they come out in our behavior, in our conversation. We don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ of the Bible, but we have our own Jesus of make believe. If you are mean and nasty, you're not serving Jesus. You serve your own Jesus. Because the Bible says, by this shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love toward another. Jesus Christ said, blessed are the peacemaker, for they should be called the children of God. So if you're not a peacemaker, and if you don't have love, you're not a disciple of Jesus. You're just the devil. I'm telling you, you're just the devil. And you're in slavery because you don't, number one, you don't read. Number ninth reason, we repeat tradition and custom of our forefathers. That's why it remain, it remaining, you are remaining in slavery because why? Because you are following the custom of your ancestors. Hey Amen. My friend, the, the Bible, listen, the Bible can't turn around. People can use the Bible to control you. I understand that. Look in our churches. People are preaching from the Bible and they're lying to you. Come on, let's let's be honest. People are, are preaching from the Bible and they are controlling you. People are, are reading the Bible and they tell you that this and that and deep down you believe everything that, that preacher man telling you to do to do. Why? Because you're not reading for yourself, you become a slave because of the Bible. Hey Lord, they twist the scripture. Look at look at Satan. Satan told Eve she shall not surely die. And she said, For real? And she picked the fruit and then she gave it to her husband, and the Bible said the eyes were both open and they were naked. The same Bible. Hey, glory to God. They three, they use three things on people, my friend. They use the Bible, they use the gun, and they use money. Those three, those three forces they use, my friend. So I'm telling you, if you're trying to get out of slavery, you got to do what I'm telling you to do. Hey, glory to God. You got to stop repeating tradition and custom. Amen. And number 10, how to be released from this chain of bondage to Christ of redemption, call upon the name of God. Call upon the name of God. The Bible says, the name of the Lord is a strong tower and the righteous run therein and they are saved. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you are in slavery, if you are in bondage, if you are a witch, if, you're in, if you've been, been tricked, if you've been bamboozled, I'm telling you how to get out of the situation you are in. Call upon the name of the Lord. Don't call on Buddha. Don't call on Hindu. Don't call on Allah. Call on the Lord. Call on in the name of Jesus. Not the Jesus that, that we see the white man with blue eyes and long hair. That's not Jesus. Jesus was a Jew. And Jews are not the Jews that we have right now in, in Jerusalem. Those are the European Jews. I'm talking about Jews of a black man. A Jews that have, have cone, a tone color looking. That's Jew. Not the Jews that, that are synagogue of Satan. They say they are Jews and they are not. But they are synagogue of Satan. That's not the kind of Jews I'm talking about, my friend. The Jews, they love God. The Jews, even though right now their eyes have been closed right now, I'm talking about Jews are scattered all over the world. Jews are, hallelujah, they're Ethiopia. Jews all over the world. When the time came, when we know Christ is coming back, when the Jews start going home to Jerusalem. But right now, the Jews that are in Jerusalem, they are not the Jews. They are counterfeit. When I say they are counterfeit Jews in Jerusalem. Because the Jews in Jerusalem right now, my friend, they are not the real Jews. They are the synagogue of Satan because David didn't have a star. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling you how to get out of bondage. You got to read. We don't read. And I mentioned the last one, how to release from the chain of bondage and the Christ of redemption. We got to call upon the name of Jesus Christ. If you call upon the name of the Lord, thou shalt be saved. 
blind Bartimaeus, he, he cries out, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And they're trying to tell him, shut up. He said, blind Bartimaeus, come here, blind Bartimaeus. What do you want me to do for you? He said, I, so, I can, so I can see. He go to God. And a lot of people, they, they have eyes, but they're still blind. Hallelujah. You have ears, you can't hear. Amen. Because what I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you, if you are a slave, slave to society, slave to lies, say, slave, if a man come to you and say, the only way you, you prove you love me, you got to have sex with me, that's a lie from the pits of hell. He's just trying to whore you around. If a real man love you, he will marry you and spend the rest of life with you. Because, my friend, marriage is honorable in the sight of God. But whoremongers and adultery, God going to judge. So if a man say he love you, let's have sex together. No, skew wrong answer. Marriage, then children, then live happily ever after. You trying to make your whore. I said it, a slavery of whoredom. Amen. So I'm telling you, if you are a Christian, amen, don't settle for less. You settle for less by opening your legs for a man that don't love you. Slavery, glory to God, is called manipulation and seduction. If a man say he love you, he will marry you and spend the rest of life with you. He won't whore you around. Amen. That's why people are in bondage because they don't read, they don't believe, and they don't live. You don't believe what? You don't believe the word of God. You don't read the word of God. You don't believe the word of God. You don't live the word of God. If you're trying to get out of slavery, amen. Christ, the Bible says Christ has set you free. You are free, but you act like a slave. If you don't think that you're supposed to be doing like drinking and you're getting drunk, you are, you are a slave to liquor. If you're sexy, you are, you are a slave to sex. If you're smoking weed, you are a slave to drugs. If you're a person that watch pornography, you are, you are a slave to pornography. Amen. If you're a person a slave to shop to shop a harlot, you are a slave to shop a harlot. You love to go to the mall. You're a shop a harlot. You are a slave to shop a harlot. Come on. You're 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 a person that loves to watch TV. You are a slave to the television. Amen. I'm talking about how to get out of bondage. You are in bondage. You are a slave. And God wants you free. But how do you get it free? You get free by following these, these, these seven principles that, that I mentioned, my friend. The first one I mentioned, you got to read. Amen. You got to read the word of God. Meditate. Meditate don't mean yoga. Meditate means to, mm, to read the word of God. Amen. And to remember. Remember what? Remember what you've been taught. Everything that, 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 that I taught my kids, they're doing the opposite. Hey man, they're doing the opposite. Why? Because they don't remember. And next thing you gotta you gotta repent. Repenting just don't mean to 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 say, Lord, forgive me, and a minute or two you go back to doing that's not that's not repenting. Repenting means to, to do a hundred and eighty turn. That means if you mean cutting your friends off, stop calling your friends, stop calling them. That means if you change of block them, block them. Hey Amen. If it means that you can't talk to them no more, don't talk to them no more. Because repentance means to turn. Amen. And that's what we need to re remember. We need to remember to turn from our wicked ways. If Unless you repent, you shall likewise perish. So repentance is very, very important. If you don't repent, my friend, you'll keep on going down a hill go and can't stop because you decide not to turn. The, the, if, if, the signs, if, the, if the signs say turn, you turn, right? You don't, they don't mean go straight. If a sign say turn, don't go straight. So the sign say straight, you still go straight. But if the sign say turn, you ought to turn. Because if you go straight, you're going to go into a broken bridge. And a lot of people are going to a broken bridge because they can't read the sign. You got to learn to read. Read and comprehend. A lot of people can read, but they don't comprehend. That's a problem. That's why you are, you are still in slavery of society because you don't read, you don't remember, and you don't repent. Those three things, my friend. And the other things, if you don't master those three things, read, remember, and repent, you will always be a slave. You'll be a slave to the, you'll, I'm not going to say the white man, you'll be a slave to, to Satan. 
him because Satan can use the black man, he used the white man. Don't think that a white man was was our slave master. There were black people that were slave masters. So I'm not going to put a color thing in being a slavery because in those days, the black man was the master as was the white man was the master. There was, there was black clans and there were white clans. So I'm not going to say the color of a person because Satan can use anybody. He can use a black man, he can use a white man, he can use a Chinese man, he can be Japanese man. Satan can use, Satan don't know care who he use. He use a serpent. Him and beguile Eve. He, he was a serpent and trying to beguile Jesus. Him, so Satan can use anybody. And that's why I say that how to get out of bondage. We gotta get a bondage because number one, we gotta learn to read. I ain't never seen a illiterate 21st century people. They don't read a book. If you don't read a book, my friend, you're gonna always become ignorant. You're gonna be always become a follower. You're gonna be all become a slave of society and especially a slave for Satan. You can break those habits, but you gotta learn to read. You gotta learn to remember where you came from. I ain't never seen so much ignorant people in my, my life that say, oh, I'm not an African American. Amen. Amen. Come on now. A person that don't know their history gonna repeat it. Well, I say a person that does not know their history, they will always repeat it. Why? Because they don't read. When the last time you read you read a book? When the last time you read the Bible? Hey, glory to God. Amen. When the last time you remember where you came from? I know you. You might say I came from my mother's womb, but where your forefathers came from? Amen. And have you repented for the last time? What I'm saying to you is watching my video, my friend. I made over over 6,000 videos on YouTube. And when I look back on my video, people don't want to hear the truth. They rather hear fables and fake stuff. But I'm here to tell you the truth, so help me God. I did a, I did a channel called The Seven Church Among Us. When I look back on the, on the 92 videos I did, my friend, Few people went to my channel and look. It's posted on the bottom. It posted on the bottom. Amen. The seven church among us. And it's a shame. I have another video uh, channel. It's called a life mind ministry. And why I suffer and which to live. And to look at those channel. People want to stay in slavery. People don't want to hear the truth. People want to stay in bondage. People love to be drunk. People love to be whores. People love to be to, to, to have drugs in, in their nose and drugs by smoking it, my friend. But it's time for you to be free. It's time for you to be liberated. The only reason why, glory to God, people in the situation they're in, because they are slaves to Satan. You are slaves to the God of this world. The God of this world is Lucifer. He's the God of this world. And the reason why you're in bondage, in slavery, because you are not free. Money is your master. Money controls you. You money hungry. Hey, glory to God. Come on now. You money hungry. You can't live without money. Hey, you're going to die with money. Hey, Amen. So I'm telling you how to be free. You got to read. You got to remember. And you got to repent. You got you to research. Hey, Amen. Come on now. You gotta, you gotta do a lot of research. You gotta do a lot of repenting. How to stay, become a sleep, a, a, a free people of God. The ten, the ten R's. You gotta. I have. I post them on 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 my screen. The ten R's of becoming, becoming free people of God. You gotta be free. And the only way you can be free, if you learn to read. When you read. You bleed and remembered, and then you live what you what you have read. I'm informed because I love to read. I love to read. Amen. You see all the books that that's in, on my on my bookshelf. It's just a few. Hey, glory to God. But I love to read. Amen. And the only way you be a free people if you be if you're a person that read it, believe it, and live what you have read. Hey man, Christian, we are, the, we are the happiest people in the whole wide world. And we're supposed to be the nicest people in the whole, whole wide world. But people that are Christian, they're mean and nasty, they're not Christian. They got their own religion. Hey man, they, they worship their own Jesus. Because the Jesus of the Bible is not the Jesus that people portrayed. 
You got you to gotta be a free people. Don't let nobody put you in captivity. Don't let no pastor brainwash you and lie to you. 